What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are going to be solving the mystery of the brand new 2023 WWE action figure basic line. Now, back at San Diego Comic Con, we did find out that we were going to be getting brand new basic figures and we were going to be seeing some new improvement to the figures, returning to ways of old with these figures and simply just improving the figures overall. And so, today, man, we're going to take a trip down memory lane. We're going to compare the brand new basics. We have this brand new basic 141 LA Knight figure, which I'm super excited for. I don't know if it's on back order or not, but you can go over to Ringside Collectibles and grab Basic Series 141 and I think LA Knight or the Chase figure. I do believe they're in stock. You guys will have to go over there and check, but use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Of course, we greatly appreciate it, but I'm really excited today because I thought that the basic figures, when we saw that stuff, if you guys remember, you need to go check it out. First of all, if you missed our SDCC coverage and you didn't see us walk around and get to see everything going on there, we got to see a lot of great stuff, but this was one of the things that I think really won the weekend of San Diego Comic Con was the introduction of this new, you know, this new stuff added to these basic lines. We have this brand new articulation added. Even I mean, we say brand new articulation. What it is is ball joints added to our basic figures. And today we're going to be comparing the brand new basics to the old basics and kind of taking you guys through it and what the differences are. Compare it to an elite and just kind of overall see what we have going on. As well as just take a look at this LA Knight figure, which is great to finally have this guy in our collections. And I'm going to see if I could possibly figure out a way to make this guy an elite figure, of course which we'll dive into. Nonetheless, man, here's the LA Knight figure, and we have a bunch of basics to compare, so let's shut the hell up, buckle the hell up, and dive into what we have here today. Today, we're going to be finding out, are these basics any different? Are they worth your money? We're going to find out. So here is the LA Knight figure. I mean, the head sculpt's not bad. You guys can see there compared to there. Looks like he kind of has no neck, but at the same time, I think he gets the job done as far as likeness and things of that nature, but he's got his red gear on there. He's got his black wrist tape, elbow pad, LA Knight, first time in the line, and he is the chase figure. Then here's the rest of the set, which I think the Rock Basic is pretty just subpar. The Brock Lesnar is pretty much the uh, the Royal Rumble Elite we saw yesterday. The sleepy head sculpt Brock. We have the like see-through clear Seth Rollins figure, which I'm actually excited for just to review. It looks really, really odd, but it just looks weird, man. It's like a see-through suit. And then the Bianca Belair looked pretty damn awful. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and crack him out of his packaging. And I think that this figure looks pretty damn solid, man. When you look at this head sculpt, when you look at this formula, I mean, LA Knight's pretty damn jacked. I, I mean, the neck is a little bit weird. And you guys know about the new basics. You can just pop his head off right there. So that's pretty cool if you want to convert this guy into an elite. But I must say, first impressions about the figure, I feel like it feels really good in hand, man. Really, really good in hand. Like, wow, I'm actually quite impressed. And this guy's legs are pretty damn thickums. Like, look at these thighs right here, man. I mean, dude, those are muscular. Those look better than elite thighs in some ways or maybe it just looks better because there's no cut in there but these these knee pads look good i mean gear looks good on the back uh this this is very quality man i'm actually really really impressed here waist is tight he is on ball look how crazy that is for a damn basic figure man i can go ahead and tell you just first impression look at that kick forward they have details on the shoes oh, look at the details on the shoes you have la knight written on there he's got his basic shoes he's got la on there he's got his red outsoles i can tell you right now if they bring this level of detail to basic figures across the board. I mean, dude, these, these are going to sell like hotcakes. I, mean, I can just tell you that right now. They are absolutely going to sell like hotcakes. And they almost have like kind of a thigh swivel. Like just a little bit of a rotation to the inside right there, if you guys can see that. If every single basic that they make from here on out feels like this quality, I'm going to be ba buying basics a lot, man. I mean, I can, I can tell you right now that this is insane quality for a basic figure, especially when you compare it to basics of the past, which we're going to do right this instant. So of course we do know that we have the new LA Knight basic right here, and I guess we can kind of develop ourselves a timeline. So if this is the most recent basic, we gotta go all the way back and get into our old basic. So this is a really old Cody Rhodes basic right here. I think a lot of people use this head sculpt for referees and stuff like that, but you know, these basics back in the day, they just had like, this is a quality basic figure, man. You could get a good kick, single jointed, you know, all the different things. You did have the bicep rotation over here, which this one doesn't even have, which does, it is a little bit upsetting. I wish that these had these older arms. I really enjoy these arms the most out of the basic figures because they're pretty much on par with elites. Like elites back in the day, this was a standard elite arm, right? So that really got the job done for me personally. One of the cons about these figures was though, it really gave them like bow-legged syndrome where they were like, you know, like their legs are angled in and they have really narrow feet, but they were still very quality basics. Like these right here were very quality. I had no, you know, I used to pick up basics time to time when they looked like this all the time. However, they eventually switched. Now I 
think I have these in the right order, but I think this right here is another, this right here is another standard basic, right? It's got the bicep rotation. This is a really good, I think this is like the TNF, or maybe it's like the Knight of Champions or something, or it's one of those championship packs, maybe. I can't remember the exact one, or maybe it is a TNF basic. Maybe it's not TNF, but one of those flashback basic lines. Then we got this newer arm articulation. I do think this is the NXT basic Ty Dillinger. So you had the basic rotation or the bicep rotation here, but then we had the elbow rotation right here, which I have never been a fan of. I just think they're ugly. Even if they are pinless, I just don't like the way that the arm looks right here. It just looks cheap to me. I prefer this style arm articulation. Uh, I mean, obviously, pinless double jointed is what I prefer, but you know what I mean. You, you get what I'm stepping in right there, but there is that basic figure, and there's not a lot of differences between these two. I'm just trying to line up these figures that I picked up here. Then we moved in, and we still had the ankle articulation down here, right? You still had the ankle articulation, single jointed. They just took away the bicep swivel and went directly to the arm swivel, and then they attached this all together as one piece instead of having separate pieces. And I do believe this Rick Rude was also part of like the flashback wave. It's like a Build-A-Figure wave. And then we got into the dark era of basics. Now here is more of a more modern basic until we got the new ones. It had the same arm articulation as the Rick Rude. It had the pinless single jointed knees that are horrific. And then they got rid of the ankle articulation. So they pretty much turned them into statues. Look how hard it is to bend the Degum knee, man. I mean, dude, that, that took a lot of force right there to do that. So basics for a little bit, when they turned into this version, people were just over. They were like, these are abysmal, man. These are absolutely abysmal. Head sculpts were not removable still. Very tight legs, like all these different things. And then they eventually went from this to a removable head sculpt. And now we have the brand new articulation with the removable head sculpts over here. And I'm just noticing this guy's very short compared to the rest. What's up with that? I don't know. That's kind of weird. But now, with a modern basic, you still have the shoulder stuff, which I don't like. I, if they had this figure with this articulation or this articulation, that would be unbelievable. These figures would be on par with elites. But I guess then again, they'd be elites at that point, but would they be? I mean, these used to have that. I mean, I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. They still have single jointed knees, and the single jointed knees are very, very tight, but I can tell you without a doubt, this figure feels very solid, and if I was going to display this, I think people could pick fed with these, is what I'm saying. I think you really could. I mean, I don't because, you know, back in the day, if you were to pick fed with a basic, they would look like a damn robot running down through there, man. It would look awful, but with these new basics, I feel like you're going to get a lot more articulation, man. I mean, look at that right there. That is a basic figure doing the splits right there. Again, and we've looked at the kick forward, the feet basics, the basic articulation on the feet has returned. He has the boot swivel right there. So I am very much impressed with the LA Knight figure. Now, comparing it to a modern elite figure, you guys can see the differences here between these two. Uh, height's pretty good right there. I mean, let's just look at this split right here. So here's a split for LA Knight. Here's a split for Dom. I mean, they can pretty much get the exact same thing, man. And outside of being double jointed, I mean, these are pretty, like, dude, I'm really, really impressed with these, and I know I've said that a qu uh, quite a bit in this video, but I really want people to know how damn good these things are. I mean, they, they really are. I'm really impressed, and you guys know that I have been the biggest hater of the basic waves ever since we've kind of gotten away from the original basic figures, and I hate to be like that old-time boomer or whatever and be like, back in my day, the basics were much better, but it's just the fact of the matter that they were. They were much better than the, you know, the, the stuff we got over here, man. So, returning back to form with this new basic articulation, I think bright days are ahead for basic figures. I will absolutely be buying more basics when these hit retail. I mean, this is a, a solid figure right here. I, I I mean, I may be to a point where I get basics all the time and we rank the top 10 basics of the year. Like, that's how good this is. This actually is fun to pick up. I don't feel like I'm wasting my money. This is uh, the dawn of a new era, man. That's insane. But if you guys want to grab this figure, of course, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you go over there and try to buy the figures, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course. But that is going to wrap wrap up our new basic articulation and just the new dawn of the basic era, Bradley. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there, man. Those guys are the absolute goats. Always appreciate you and love each and every single one of you, man. Thank you for your continued support on the channel. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below, but that is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on my toys. Leave me your thoughts on these basics down below, and I will catch you guys later. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.